Alrighty, everyone, it's time. It's time for a new one. This one's a long time coming. Last time Dragon's Dogma, you know, had a release was over a decade ago. Personally, I really liked the original game. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. Oh no, I couldn't read that. Could have been some schmuck, right? Could have just said sign some schmuck. We'll never know now. Where are we? Is it Britain Abbey? Look at this. Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, play the flute. Do the dance. Do it. <laughs> Captain Stubing, haven't seen you in a fortnight. Oh. I hate you all. Just wanted you to know that. Official announcement. Lend me your ears. Long as our Febremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Now. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. I wonder if this ties Long to the plot of the first one. I don't know. Have we endured? Yet it has I'll not bring his face here. right now. <laughs> and pick his nose. At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the console. At last! We may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. Hold on. You guys, what do you think of the volume? Because every game's different. How does it sound right now? I can adjust it on the fly if you guys need it. Up the game sound. Okay, fair enough. I will do that. How about two decibels? I will up it two more decibels. You guys tell me if that sounds a little better. I can go higher than that, too. Just let me know. I guess this game is going to have a volume level similar to Baldur's Gate 3, which is pretty low. Um, also, <clears throat> I got a $6 tip from Rocky. I demand to see Kevin Smith adapt Dragon's Dogma as a film featuring Alanis Morissette and Jane Silent Bob. There you go. I have no idea what that means, why they would want to do that, but okay. There you go. The return of the Sovereign. We need a Sovereign. Spelled in a weird way, though. The return of the sovereign. Such an inspiring visit. Oh yes, so oh, inspiring. Can't can wait to see the sovereign. Even a little louder. Do you guys want it a little louder? I can make it a little louder if you want. Let me know in the chat. He trips. Whoops! Goes headfirst into the throne and breaks his neck. <laughs> oh, well, that was a quick one. It's our quickest sovereign ever. Damn, what a oaf. Dark Gaming says, they're not showing the face, perhaps this is the character, your character you played in the first game. Perhaps. See, I never played the Dark Arisen DLC, so I don't actually know what happened to that character at the Behold, end of the first game. I never got that far. Before you sit the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy, behold a rejoice. Fortune has delivered us our savior at last. At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Uh-oh. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon. Uh-oh. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. What's going on? Who's talking? I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. <clears throat> For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Excavation site jail. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, I get a tickle in my throat in the intro to the game. <laughs> Ooh, the glowing staff. Look at that. Like a red crystal or something on the edge of it. Interesting. 
So in this one, it doesn't open up by a dragon coming and like ripping your heart out of your chest like it did in the first game. This is a completely different intro now. <clears throat> I thought you would become the next dragon. I forget what they were called in the first game. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. Biska. Wow, it's the smallest subtitle ever. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. <laughs> Come on, step forward. So, you either select the prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customize. How do I import? How do I import the character I Is made yesterday? You? No. Hmm. It's hard to say. Uh. If the pawn, are you the one? How do I import the character I made yesterday? Good for nothing pawns. How do I do it? Which of you is it? Is it you? <coughs> no. Ah, it must be you. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. So we're gonna customize, and hopefully it lets you import. <coughs> Use existing character data to create the arisen. So hopefully this works. Where do you guys see this? You ready for this? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> It's old man Phil. It's an older version of me, basically. I mean, I tried to add like wrinkles, make him look like he was maybe in his like 60s. <clears throat> but it's pretty close, huh? It's pretty close. We tried to get as close as we could. It's not it's not dead on, but it's pretty darn close, I feel. So, okay. I I like how they showed him his underwear. I don't know why he's age 20. See, I want to be older than me. So let's do... Let's make him, like, 60. Right? <clears throat> okay. That's right. He's seen some shit. He's been around the block. I like that look in your <clears throat> eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Oh, I'm supposed to press the button next? Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural, seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, <coughs> and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullard. <laughs> One more add-ons added. You'll gain access to them as you make progress through the game. Okay. So this is me. <laughs> oh boy. Hell. Is there all you require? Punch him. They punch this man. Oh, my buttons don't do anything. Oh, I, I waved. Hello. Hello. They're holding their heads like they got headaches. <clears throat> doobie 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 doo. That's how he walks. Doobie 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 doo. Doobie. Ah! Doobie. What version of the game is this? This is uh, Xbox Series X, of course. Hello. Oh, sorry about that. Not much of a jail if you could just push the door open. Look, you can just push these cells open. What kind of a jail is this? All oh, these guards are behind me, ushering me forward. They don't even care. They don't even care that I'm pushing stuff around. <clears throat> Why does he walk like that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess I, I screwed up uh, screwed up his walk. It doesn't look like a natural walk. It looks like he's got a load in his pants or something. You know, like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to stick up his ass. <laughs> Excavation site, the hole. I look stunning. There we go. The Coliseum. Did you call me a layabout? How dare you? At the very most, I'm a walkabout. You call me a layabout. <clears throat> Are you, going so, you move so slow. I can't go any faster than this. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. He walks like he does walk like Vince McMahon, with his arms waggling. And my ruins is old man Phil, so maybe he's got he he Pray. pooped his depends. Do there you go. <clears throat> this is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. 
<laughs> He's got a turd bouncing around his underwear. <laughs> oh, oh, as he walks. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> anyway. I received a $5 tip from Rocky. Character looks like you and Bobby Roode have merged. I tried to make him look older. Like the the younger I didn't like the younger looking models. So I wanted to make him look like an older version of me, but it doesn't look perfect. It's all right. It's all right. We put a little bit of time into it. Okay. Thank you for the tip. Okay. Uh, you ought not anger the overseer. <clears throat> Let us proceed to the site. Oh, I got the regular version of the game. The deluxe version seemed to come with a few extra items, but they didn't seem to be too significant. So I was like, eh. Wait, it said jog, but I didn't pay attention. How do you jog? Going this way. Fuck down. Here. Here we go. Go this way. We're escaping. We're escaping the camp. Oh, the door's locked. Oh, shit. I wanted to break out. The door's locked. Well, that sucks. I guess I can't escape. Oh, my plans didn't work. Where am I now? <clears throat> There's no easy thing making a living as a soldier. Nobody cares. Oh, God. Oh, God. This guy followed me. They found me. They tracked me down. Shit. Time for you to get to work. <laughs> Tried to escape. It didn't pay off. By the way, thank you to DSP is the goat for a super chat. I missed that. Thank you, DSP is the GOAT. Let's get that on the leaderboard. Okay. So what do they got me doing? Alright, I center my leaderboard here. Here we go. What am I doing? <clears throat> Pick up a boulder. Where? You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Left bumper, press right D-pad. Okay, so left bumper opens a menu. <clears throat> and then you can turn on your lantern. What about right bumper? Nothing. I guess everything's timed. You can't do everything right away. Oh, I totally remember this. This is how you pick stuff up and walk with it. But this is also when you jump, you can grab an enemy and then climb it by holding this button. I totally remember this part of the game. It's pretty cool. To scale big monsters and stab them in their weak points. It's fun. <laughs> Jump. Hoi! 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 We want to put it right here? Alrighty, I'm going to release it. Ready? Oh! It didn't work. Oh, you have to press it? I thought it was a hold. Okay. Release! A job well done. <clears throat> now the next step is to. Mm hmm. What happened? I can't see. What the hell what happened to the camera? It's stuck. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Okay, B or left thumbstick dash. Oh, okay, you hold B, you run faster. Yep. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. What is this commotion? What 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 is? <clears throat> oh good. A Medusa monster only minutes into the game. That's a good sign. Creepy shit. And they're turning the stone right away. How are we gonna beat this thing? We're at the beginning of the game. No, the damn thing's been awoken. You got fell that fiend, even at the cost of your lives. Uh, everyone's like, uh, what? No. <laughs> Dare I say there's some sagginess going on here? <laughs> Someone should have uh, invested in uh, a bra. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's just standing out so bad. <clears throat> Alright. It's time. Old man dark side feel. By the way, it looks like my hair color didn't work. Yeah, because I totally did put gray in my hair and my beard in this. And it, it, I don't think it transferred over. Because it looked gray. In the character creator, and here it didn't at all. I guess it screwed up. Maybe we'll fix that later. All right. So now, how do we play? Onslaught is X. Jumping. I'm running. Fuck this. I'm gonna jump and 
grab it. See? You climb. See, I remember how to play for the first game. I'm gonna climb this fucking bitch. I'm gonna stab her in her head. Look at this. Where's my stamina meter? Impale. Please do it. Yes! Impale! Again. Ah, oh, stab her. Stab that bitch. Oh, this is good. You're doing good damage. Ugh. What are, you, what are you supposed to do? Let me get off. Oh, shit! <laughs> I got clobbered. What you're supposed to do is get to her weak point, which is probably her head. I'm all fucked up. Look. You can grab and throw objects. I'm not grabbing and throwing. I'm going to climb her. Stab her in the face. There's another guy on her right now. See? Oh, that's cool. I'm not stunned for this. Here we go. I gotta try to get as high as close as I can to the strikes. I would recommend to Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we're on it now. Impale. Oh. Yo, I'm chopping the shit out of her head. Take this shit, bitch. Get that first energy bar down. I chopped some snakes off. I saw some snakes came off her head. That was cool. Nice, you got rid of her. I, I gotta remember how to play from the first game. You just jump and grab. Are you unharmed? You won't see while you can. Who the fuck are you? You're a pale guy, huh? You need some sun. Vitamin D. Look, he's got my hairline. He's even got the patch of hair missing on his hairline, like me. It's awesome. The hair is correct, but it's the wrong color. I wanted to make it grayish. <laughs> I wonder if they'll have an ability to customize it again, because I'd like to change the hair color. Oh, you! Get back here! Oh, you! What the hell? What happened? I blocked the camera again. It's the second time. <laughs> this way or is it? I think you block with left way. trigger. Let us flee. I think you. Yeah, you do. You block with left trigger. I think. Oh, sheath and draw. I don't remember how to block the shield. Jump, I said. Jump! You, you, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, he go and he botched it. He like, bro, and he slid off. That didn't look right. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a fall. Yeah, it didn't look like he didn't look like he jumped at all. Ah! Holy crap! Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. We're riding a monster already. Cool. What is that, a griffin? Looks like a griffin, right? I think. Forgot my monster lore. Good afternoon, lucky gremlin. For the rest of the game, we should ignore this person. Just, like, pretend they're not there. Act like they're not even part of the story. To be like, oh, what, what's that? Something over here. I heard like someone fart or something. You walk away. Just ignore him the whole time. <laughs> the whole story will be different. <clears throat> Dragon's Dogma. That's right. Dragon's Dogma. That's why there was a Kevin Smith joke earlier, by the way. When do the shit demons show up? Like in Dogma. That's what this game is about, right? <clears throat> Hello, Yoshino Lover. How's it going? How long did it take to make the character? I think we spent about... Maybe about 30 to 40 minutes making mine. And then... Pat spent probably about another 30 to 40 minutes making the pawn. The pawn's not in the game yet. Um... But it's a great character creator. It's got tons of detail. Like, insane amounts of minutia and detail you can do. And like I said, I wanted to try to make an older me for the plot. I thought it would be cool to have, like, an older Phil. And... I think the face looks fine, but the, for some reason the hair didn't gray. I, I added gray to the beard. It was mostly gray. And I guess it, for some reason it didn't, that didn't transfer over. Because it still looks like pure brown. Or pure black, whatever. 
Why wasn't there a two in the title? I have no idea. This is Dragon's Dogma 2, and there was no two in the title. Well, that sucked. That was a short-lived uh, monster. Gee, thanks, lady. Thanks for impaling my monster. The two eyes were in the O's of the logo. They were? No one noticed it. <laughs> no one even noticed it. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Let's see how the game performs today. This is a big test because everyone says the game underperforms frame rate wise. But let's see. This is the Xbox Series X version. Which I'm happy I got it. I love this controller. And on, in addition, I'll get real surround sound playing it on my Xbox, which will be something good for an open world game. Yeah, see, it don't it didn't it didn't work. I could tell. There's no gray at all in the beard or the hair, and I totally put it in there. So it just didn't can't transfer over right, I guess, with the creator. Maybe I'll be able to fix it later. I said I wanted to look like an older... Oh, God. Well, he's screwed. What's going on here? Tentacle monster. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. Wow, what do you, what do you mean? There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the arisen, then I'll I think my head's a little too wide. Cross again. I think my hair, my head's a little too wide. If I, if I can edit right. it and make it a little skinnier right. and make the hair gray, it would be like What's perfect. <laughs> so what's funny is, is that was that guy? Falls the next. I can't pause this. And now you stand before me. Was that guy basically saying he knows that he's like a, 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 a pawn and he can, he can respawn at the Rift Stone? I, that's what he's saying. Like, you could respawn me at the Rift Stone, so don't worry, I'm not going to die. <clears throat> anyway, a griffin appears one moment and falls the next, now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? Oh, uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about, man. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. No, I don't trust this guy. I'm not going with him. Fuck him. Who are you assholes? Come here. Want to fight? Who wants to fight? How about this one? Backstab this guy, take his equipment. Oh, God, I just noticed a griffin. <laughs> or the, uh, what did he call it? Did he call it a griffin? <clears throat> Can I climb this thing? Yeah, look. I'm sure you're going to be fighting these in the game. If, if there was one, you know, you rode. Can I roll? How do I, so I jump with A. I run with B. I attack with X. I do the big party stab with Y. Left trigger puts it away. Left bumper is to take out your lantern or not. Right bumper. Oh, okay. Right bumper's block. Cool. <laughs> Can you do like a parry move? Maybe. So you block and then. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So if you if you hold the direction and Y, you do a jumping stab. Yeah, look, if you hold the direction and press X, you do a combo. See that? That's different. If you're neutral X, you do this. But if you hold the direction X, you actually do an advancing combo. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that jumping stab. I wish you had a roll. I don't think you have a roll. So you probably can't really, like, dodge yet. I wonder if you, if you can unlock that later. We switch weapon skill? Oh, see, I don't have a weapon skill yet. Yeah, I don't have one. Okay. I am Maximus Decimus Meridius Side Phil. There you go. Old man Phil. Like I said, I definitely want to be a little bit gray. I wanted him to look like older, so gray hair would have been perfect. I didn't get it. We'll try. We'll try it later. Blink Strike is your weapon skill. What? Oh. 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 Hold on, I'm gonna go for a dip. Let's see what happens. Oh shit! Well, here we go. Where are you going? Oh! <laughs> this tale has ended. Wait a minute. Load from last in rest. I didn't. I didn't in rest. What would happen if I say load from last in rest? Hold up bumper, press X. Oh! That's your your weapon skill. Hold up bumper, press X. Ah. 
I ill like that look in your eyes. You it's are fucking kidding me. Most of your kind I gotta do this whole fucking thing up. over? Come along, you what the fuck? The whole fucking thing over? What? Oh my god. What kind of a shit system is that? I gotta do the whole fucking intro over. What the fucking... Stop, stop, you dickheads. I fucked around and I guess I'm finding out right now. Come on, man. I used to be able to dick around in games all the time. I didn't have to get punished for it. This is a bunch of bullshit. I go all the way back to the intro. <clears throat> this is... What the fuck? Come on. Safe rest my ass. Yeah, I was real safe back here. Fucking Medusa attack. <clears throat> why did I pick last in rest? Because it didn't make sense because there was no in rest. So why is that even an option? In the intro. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> well, I get to fight the Medusa again. <clears throat> oh my god. Wait, do I have to- I have to move the stone too? Oh my god! Oh my this god! One of your, you ought not anger the overseer. Shut the fuck up! Oh my god! It would be unwise to disobey. The overseer will show you no mercy. What am I doing? This sucks. Yeah, in rest. This looks like an in rest to me. Doesn't look like an in rest to you. This is fucking stupid bull. I'm gonna throw this guy off the cliff. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Come on, man. It's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> Time for you to get to work. Shut the fuck up. Punch this guy and steal his uh staff. I can't fucking believe I gotta do this again. To work. Shut up! Don't talk to me. <laughs> Don't talk to me. You're already dead. You got sucked in by tentacles, alright? Fucking stupid. Give me this fucking round. Toss this shit. I, I wish you could toss it. Like, throw it physically. Is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Oh, 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 that poses a... oh, I'll leap alright. <laughs> you said delete. I'll give you a leap. A job well done. Oh look, it looks like I can see the cutscene this time. Remember before the camera glitched? What is this commotion? <laughs> Perhaps we ought to investigate. <laughs> oh my god. This is not a blunder. I didn't make the game, okay? This is not a blunder. Don't call it that. Observe your foes carefully. The attack the situation demands. Alright, here we go. Climb it. Stab her in the head. Ready? Someone cast a fire spell when I was up here, you dick. Why would you cast a fire spell when I'm climbing? Shields offer welcome protection. I can't get up there. I ran out of stamina. Shit. I gotta get my stamina back. Oh, fuck. I gotta get my stamina back. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons. Oh, that was the running stab he did. That's there, see? Here's your combo. I wanna, I wanna jump on her again like I did last time. Shit. Targeted strike. There you go. I would recommend you. Here's a targeted strike. This guy's in my way. Get the fuck out of here. I want to stab her in the head. And you're in the way, stupid. Alright. I can't believe I can do this again. Are you unharmed? Okay. <clears throat> You won't see while you can. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore this guy like we're gonna do. Come this way. We're gonna completely Let ignore this flee. guy. What the fuck? Oh shit! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, he got tossed. Yeah. <laughs> Now that was funny. <laughs> oh shit. That was fucking funny. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> okay. We're almost back to where we were. Can you do that to everyone? Can you literally pick everyone up in the game? That would be cool. You just pick up everyone, toss them off a cliff. Can I, do, can I pick him up? Come here. Come here. Grab. Grab him. Yeah, you pick him up. Holy shit, look at this. Seriously, what the fuck, dude? You pick anyone up in the game. Throw, right bumper, here. See you in hell, bitch. Yo! Where are you Throw anyone off a cliff. Even an NPC, a story NPC, he's down there. Yo, he's down in the water. Oh my god. He's in the fucking water. What do I do now? Now I fucked the game up. Oh well. Guess we'll just go off on our own. We'll have our own little adventure here. We don't need him. Fuck that guy. He's all intrusive to the story. Use love bumper and X to activate your weapon skill. Okay, I guess we gotta go target. How do you target an enemy? I don't know how to target an enemy. Shit! Ah, fuck. Here it is. That's the weapon skill. Blink strike. It's like a stab, a dash, and stab. Oh, that's pretty good. I wonder if it breaks guard. Nice. I got a beast skin for doing that. Alright, that's pretty cool. You can just throw the NPC off the cliff and do whatever you want. He's over there. He's in the water. I wonder if he's dead. He's in the water. <laughs> he didn't follow me either. He's like stuck over there. <clears throat> well, so much for them. I guess we keep going. Right? Where do I go? Up here? <laughs> okay. Let's do some flowers. Gather some grapes. Ooh, some delicious grapes. Inuirish and grapes. Wow, the lighting's superb. Look at the the shadows. The shadows are like really well done. <clears throat> so I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. You've heard of a soft lock, now meet a toss lock. There you go. I guess this is where we're going. See that? When enemy is flinching, pick them up with right jar. Hey! You fucker! Did he hit me with a tomato or something? Oh, yeah! Oh, shit! That was beautiful! Yo, that was a sick plunge attack. Oh, when they're down, you hit Y and you keep them, stab them when they're down. Did you see the plunge attack I did? That was jumping Y. And he absolutely executed the guy. That was sick. I already leveled up. How do I get health back? I don't know how to get health back. They haven't explained that yet. This is the, the Resident uh, RE engine. I call it Resident Evil engine, but I guess it's just RE, RE engine. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how to recover health. I'm sure the guy was going to tell me how, but, you know, he's dead now. What the fuck? What the fuck? What's going on? What is this? This is where I... So confused. Where am I? The map. Wow, what a great map. So, jump, cursor jump. What is it jumping to? <clears throat> Current location? That's where I am. I'm over here. 
And this guy's dead. I guess I follow the path? I don't know. Am I supposed to be following this? I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> the guy's important to the game. I should restart. Nah, fuck him. I guess we're just going to keep walking. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I killed my guy and I tossed him off a cliff, so. <clears throat> Here we go. Cutscene. You didn't see, I even told you we didn't need him. Fuck him. I need that asshole. Welcome, Arisen. Wait, you killed my griffin! We pawns have long awaited your arrival. This you pawn bitch killed my griffin. Do you not? <clears throat> we can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. This is probably where you get your first pawn. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Earth into this world. Wow. Amazing. Pray. Summon your pawn. It looks like he does have some gray in the beard, but it's not correct. Eye. Yeah. And my head's too wide. Would have served you. I'll make it not as wide. <laughs> Hopefully you could fix that later, I don't know. Yes, so this pawn is the one that Cat made for the game. Ready? Here we go. Look at this. He's like a like a half like a lion character with red hair. Pretty cool. <clears throat> In underwear. No, and Beastrin don't have tails though, which is a little weird. Okay, my first pawn. He named him Elric. And for some reason, his moniker is Darian. I guess his full name is Elric Darian or something like that. Or Darian Elric. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> there he is. Hello. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <clears throat> KMF says 50% lion, 50% zebra, 100% G. This world and the many other realms with which we are connected. Nice voice actor. I am no exception. <laughs> My experiences in these other worlds will doubtless be of aid to you on your adventure. Tis my privilege to accompany you as your loyal pawn, and I will gladly use the knowledge <laughs> I gain to guide you. Looks like a Bengal tiger, yeah, perhaps. White tiger with stripes, but a cool, a cool like mane that looks like a lion's mane. <clears throat> Plumber who fixes leak says, "Is he black with white stripes or or white with black stripes?" Well, when you're talking about my playthroughs, it don't matter if you're black or white. All right. Anyway, by touching the rift stone, the arisen can travel to the bridge atwixt worlds. The great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they're accompanying you, but <clears throat> you may find you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. So basically, this Hail, is Arisen. Elric will be the starter pawn, Hail, but I guess he doesn't level, which kind of sucks because it means we'll only use him for a limited time, right? <clears throat> tell me of pawns, tell me of rift stones, tell me of the Arisen. Let's hear about the plot. Tis the name given to fate's chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Oh. Even with your memories lost to you, mm. I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Oh, the main pawn levels? Oh, good. So I can keep Elric with me for the whole game, but I'll have to get two bonus pawns that I'll have to swap out. I see. DC, thank you so much for a four membership, four months of membership. He says, happy Dragon's Dogma 2 day and four months of support. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> okay. Even with your memories lost, you I'm afraid you cannot escape your fate. All right. Another Very time. Well. <laughs> May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. What I want to know is how do you heal? <clears throat> okay. So hail Elric. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Talk. Matters of import. Where ought we to go now? I actually don't know. It's a good question. 
Can I change my pawn's behavior in the map? Like, here's Elric, right? Not in the map, in the menu. How would I change, go to quest, view lock, control guide, uh, confirm, cancel. <clears throat> I don't really see. I see I don't have full health. I don't see how to control him. I think you can, can you give them different play styles? You can assign them different play styles, I think. <clears throat> So that because he's a rogue, I'm I'm a fighter and he's a rogue, so he'll play differently than me. But I'm curious, like what, like what difference there will be, and how do I make him change his strategy? I don't know. <clears throat> Can I summon any more right now? Some more pawns. General information. What? Type race inclination. Weapon skill, specialization quest, on badge, username. What the? How do you do this? <clears throat> so these are the pawns that I can get right now. Abby, a mage. I need a mage. There's Abby, there's Sage. I definitely need a mage. I like a varied party, so I want a mage, and then I could probably get a ranger, right? Izzy the ranger here. I have 120 points. So basically, for free, you can get a level two, or if you pay a little more, you can get a higher level. See that? This Abbey is a level five, and I can summon a level five for 117 points. I have 120 total. <clears throat> a movie, I can't get the higher levels. There are way too many points. Mulaney, Silver, I definitely want a mage. And I want a, a ranger. Not a, a lot of rangers around. There wasn't one ranger that was... Oh, here we go. Sophia, level one. Uh, there was another one that was level two, I think. See him I can't afford. He's 559 points, so I can't get him. <laughs> if you interact with the stone, you can summon special pawns and friend pawns. Do unique pawn, search for a pawn, set a pawn, I don't know. Friends pawns. Let's see how many people on my friends list are playing this. Only one person. <clears throat> Shadow, level 30. Holy crap, someone's been playing a lot. A feminine human mage? Is that a mage? Can I summon a level 30? That'd be pretty broken, no, to have a level 30 pawn. I don't want a level 30 now. Can I see the prawn? It is. It's Ellipsian. Ellipsian is one of my moderators. But I can't see... I just want to see the pawn. I don't want to use the pawn. I want to see it. Oh, no. They walked away. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to take that pawn. What happened? They all ran away. Come back. No, come back. No. They all ran away. I didn't want a level 30 po Oh my god, level 30 mage is going to be too powerful. <laughs> going to be way too powerful. Uh, can I dismiss the pawn? How do you dismiss a pawn? Because I don't want a level 30. It'll make the game too easy. She's going to one-shot all the enemies. I don't know. Ill. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need. Oh, you know it is a shadow heart. Knowing when to use curatives is my special. Yeah, he made shadow heart from Baldur's Gate three. Higher. Cancel. I don't want to hire because it's just overpowered. <clears throat> so cancel. But okay, so I did not summon her. Can I get more back? How do I get more pawns back in the rift? What happened? Right? Go to unique pawns. Well, these are the ones that are supposed to be like content creators, right? I don't want to do the content creator pawns either. That's stupid. You know? Is that a pawn quest? I don't know what that means. Pawns in the rift. How do I get... If I leave and come back, maybe it'll respawn different pawns? Let's find out. Where'd they go? Oh, here they come. They're spawning in. 
Okay, cool. Because we're level 2, so we should definitely have pawns near our level. Here's a level 4 mage. 68 points. Yeah, I want a ranger. So I might get Catherine the ranger. Angel the ranger. I definitely want a ranger. Is there one that looks like Legolas? Yep, Valkyrie. It's an elf. Or Orion. Chuck. Good old Chuck. Sorry, we already got a rogue, Chuck. Sorry about that. Uh, Hila K. Uh, let's get the level four magician. I pray my efforts aid your cause. Yeah, let's get the level four magician. We'll use a few of the points. Let's do that. Higher, kind-hearted, no specialization, weak stone shard. It says you get travel together for a day and a, and a night. All right, sure. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Okay. On quest, just complete a quest to get a reward. Okay. And then I want a ranger. Catherine, there's Angel, there's Valkyrie. How about Valkyrie who's an elf? That's kind of cool. Oops, I didn't mean to jump for joy. I meant to talk to Valkyrie. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. Oh, she got garlic breath. Sheesh. All right, she's free. All right. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Here we go. All right, so we did it. We have all our pawns now. We should have a full party of pawns. All right, we're good. We're done, right? Cool. Here's our party. I just wish I knew how to program them to, to attack or, or act a certain way. Because I'm pretty sure... What did she just do? Whoa, there's some kind of an aura. Look at this. We're buffed. Did I just get health back? I think she just healed. I'm pretty sure she just healed, which is excellent. We just got health back for that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> An auto heal. Right? All right, well, we have a full party. I guess the question is, how do we control them? Because I actually don't know the answer to that. All right, I see our objective. Now, how do we open the map? Okay, here we go. The back button. This. Order watch commissary. Order watch lounge. Order watch riftstone. Okay. <clears throat> and this is where we're going. A treasure chest. Huh? Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Where? Where do you see a treasure chest? Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in the world. It's recommended you rest at inns at regular intervals. <clears throat> Boy there, you seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still... It is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors. A vocation. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Staying in an inn will fully restore your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. When resting in an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Yeah, there's certain quests that you can only do at certain times of the day because, like, certain enemies spawn day or night. <clears throat> For sighted adventures, we'll stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when traveling far afield. All right, I guess we'll do it. We must rest. Though the sun is still up. Okay. A moment long awaited. One or more add-ons now acquired. Add added items are sent to the item storage. Item storage can be accessed at any inn by I speaking with the shopkeeper. Only a matter of time before your skills reach a new height. There's no discipline. <clears throat> Over at level two. Teach. Cool. Make four mil. So how do we get access storage? I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation. I don't know what that means. Like, your job? Like, I'm a fighter, so I can 
not be a fighter if I don't want to be. Organize your storage. Withdraw. What do we have? Oh! <clears throat> so I have a sword and shield that's better than what I have. So I should take those. Now these are for the other classes. How do I how do I specifically here we go. So he should get the, the knives. Yep. She should get the mage's staff. Actually, she's already using that staff. And then, okay, better bow. We got better equipment. Now, I don't know why I got this. I have no clue why I have better equipment. I Confusing why I got that, but all right. We deposit the weaker stuff now that we don't need anymore. Better shield. I'll deposit stuff I'm not going to use. Oh. Do it. Fine. Thank you, Adam, for a super sticker. I appreciate that, Adam. It was pre a pre-order bonus. Oh, I guess it's a pre-order bonus I received. <clears throat> so here you can change your vocation. And there's augments. Huh? Oh, I see. They cost 100 DCP each, and I have 137 DCP. So I could change... For now, I'll probably keep everyone at their... their their vocations, but maybe later I'll change it. Weapon skills. So right now I have this blink strike, which is the running stab. See, rushes forcefully toward the target and visits a, a powerful blow. I get airward slash. Oh, that's nice. A jumping slash to get, knock things out of the air. Or shield bash. Bonk. Whoa, send an enemy flying. That's pretty cool too. Because you can probably knock enemies off of cliffs. So I want those eventually, but they cost 200. I only have 137, so I can't get those. Four skills. True deflect. Press right bumper the instant before enemies attack. It's a parry. Oh, very nice. DCP is the is discipline, so it's discipline. Okay. Dude, I totally want that. That's gonna be super good. Is it parry? So I need to get that eventually. And then augments. We don't have any right now. Elric has uh, has abilities, right? Right now he has biting wind. Which he oh look at that's like a running slash. Zoop. And later on, he can get Enkindled Blades, where he puts a fire element on his blades. And Shadow Cloak, where he goes into stealth, and he can get, like, a stealth stab. Also, there's Scarlet Kisses, which is a flurry of auto-combo slashes. Whoa. You know, I think I was I think I think was a rogue in my first playthrough, because I remember these moves. I'm pretty sure I was a rogue. All right, that's cool. Well, we can't do any of that yet. Later on, we will, when we have enough... Discipline. Dude, we just don't have the discipline right now. We're very undisciplined. Thank you, Adam, for that super chat. Let me get you on the leaderboard. Thank you all for chilling with me today And as I start my playthrough of Dragon's Dogma 2. So far, so good. I'm actually excited to get out in the world and start fighting and, and throwing enemies off cliffs and uh, climbing giant beasts and stabbing them in the ball sacks. So, cool. <clears throat> I enjoy tackling fierce foes this? and prefer combat thrills to gathering items i am confident and may act independently who are you i don't want you <laughs> where'd she even come from i already have a full party <laughs> she came out of nowhere <clears throat> very forward of herself trying to push herself into the party i don't know if i trust her all right so that's the inn there was also over here is this a vendor is a blacksmith yeah, it's a blacksmith. Oh, I have to equip the better equipment. Shit, I forgot. Yeah, see, trusty sword. This is all intro equipment. Wanderer's hood. It's slightly better than what I have. I have 806 gold. Just so you guys know, all the stuff's right here. I'll show you. Take a look. It's under me. So it sucks. Like, no matter where I put my camera on the right hand side, I'm blocking menu stuff. So I'll just tell you what I have. I have 800 gold. <clears throat> so I could buy some slightly improved stuff. It's not that big of a difference, though. It's, it's pretty... I feel like I shouldn't spend any money right now. Yeah. The stuff that I can afford is such a negligible difference in stats that it probably isn't worth it. What about items? Do we eat these? Yes, it says consume it to recover a bit of health. Now, I wonder how we can heal during while we're out there because we have some of this already but i don't know how to do that much obliged <laughs> how do Not i going. that's just as well go help wait to me to be selective than wasteful gold is a resource best spent judiciously 
Where is our third? Oh, there she is. I was like, where'd she go? Valkyrie. Oh, here we go. So green wearish and harspin and lantern on. I'm gonna assume those are healing items. Maybe it auto equips your healing items. When you hit left bumper, you eat one. We'll have to try it when we're out in the field and see how it works. It says there's a chest. Hey yo, you a soldier? His name's Phil. Be surprised to see you arrive in one piece. If not, hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late. You see, we've had to start sending out new recruits to call them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Ricardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. Oh, he's dead meat. What? <clears throat> Weren't harpies reported in that area? Harpies? Oh no. Those beasts on his own. Immediately aerial enemies. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. Was that guy supposed to be like my tutorial guy? Because he's dead. I threw him off the cliff. I wonder if he's supposed to be in the story. He's he's not in it. Totally didn't come with me. All right. Give my thanks. <clears throat> and Ocado's as well, I'm sure. Setting a priority quest. You can select the quest to prioritize from among those you have accepted. The quest destination is known. A marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that quest, they will be able to guide you to the objective. However, pawns with no such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as the priority quest. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once goes with the risk of being unable to act in time. This can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind. So basically, if we don't go help this guy, he's probably going to die, right? We must fly to the aid of those in need. So how do I set the quests? Quests in Dragon's Wake or deals of a new recruit? A dragon attacked Mel. That's where we're headed. Wait, we didn't know that. We have the quest. I bet that guy was supposed to give us this quest. And since I threw him off the cliff, we never he never told us. But we have the quest anyway. All right, we gotta go help this guy. So set his priority quest. There we go. <clears throat> so what else is in town? It shows a chest. Well, how do I get that chest? Sir Ricardo is in need of our raid. Shit. I believe I can guide you to the person in question. But you do that, I'm stuck. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Where's this chest? Is it up there? Oh! I Mario jumped it. Oh, here it is. A Fulgurus Lord? What the fuck is that? A Fulgurus Lord? <laughs> is it a book? What do I want that for? Dude, we're about to go on a medieval journey of, of uh, combat and conquest. We don't need to be reading books. Go burn that thing. We're running low on everything, from provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. Oh no. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. Mm -hmm. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be paid. Another course. quest already. All right. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. And in the note, and he'll take care of the rest. Okay, we got a second quest. We'll do the other one first. How do I see these items I'm getting? Are there is there like a quest? Oh, I have to equip the better equipment. Hold on. There we go. She's got the better one. There we go. Oh? Why can't she equip it? What? I don't get it. It says it's not for her, but she's an archer and she can't equip a better bow. Why? I don't even see like a level requirement on it, so I honestly have no idea why she can't equip it. Right? I can't do it. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Confusing. 
Uh. <clears throat> so is there like a quest items area? Of items like like the book I just got. How do I how do I find it? How's the provisioners know? Here it is. A grimoire that casts a spell upon being read, usable even by those incapable of magic, invokes high level and a lightning spell. Okay. So I can use this to cast a lightning spell in combat. Is there a way to like assign that to a slot so I can do it? I don't know. I don't know how you assign items in this game. Like, here's my menu. But how would I assign that like being down so I can cast it? I have no idea. I have no idea. If anyone knows, let me know. I would like to maybe use that in combat. But I don't know how. Is there anything else in town to loot, or are we good? Follow me, if you would. Hold on a second. Relax. This. Got 500 gold just sitting there. Nice. Take that. You can only equip your main pawn. Oh, you can't equip anything on other pawns? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. That's why she can't take the bow. Fancy a, gander? I find good for sale. Fancy a zipped lip so I can play? I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a What is she talking about? I didn't there change the goal. opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow. What does she mean? No, it didn't. We're gonna go save this guy. This has been our this is our focus. We can do this after. We should do this one first. So where are we? Here we are. Oh, we gotta leave town first and we get the world map. She's talking about the other quest? Oh. Alright, so are we leaving now? Okay. So here we are in the quest. Oh shit. The quest is right over here, so we just follow the road, I guess. It'll take us right to this guy. We're gonna have to fight these harpies. By the way, the game saved at the end, correct? That's what it said. It said the game had saved at the end. So we're gonna go fight these harpies. I guess this guy's not coming with us. So I threw him off the cliff and he never came back. Oh well. So much for his ass. On commands. Yes, here we go. So. Go. Instructs pawns to act independently of the arisen. During combat, it directs pawns to spread out. Can be used to request assistance when carrying out an action, request guidance to a location, or to instruct a pawn to resume guidance. <clears throat> to me, instructs pawns to approach the Arisen. During combat, it directs pawns to fight by the Arisen side. Wait, instructs pawns to remain where they are until they are given a different command. Or help. So how do I do these? Freshly rested as we oh, are. Oh, it's the D-pad. This battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our hearts. Already dead. Okay. That was fast. Is that it? Killed them all already. Yeah, I leveled up. Wow. Done. How do you earn discipline? Just by fighting, I guess? Hmm. We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Oh. Yes, let's. You could do a totally lopsided party, right? Like, you could do all warriors or all rogues. You probably need a magic user, though, to heal you. No matter what. Here's the harpies. They're singing. Oh, crap. Go, go, go. I picked it up! Ooh! Damn, it hurt it too. And now I'm paling. Damn, damn, I slaughtered it. I kicked his ass. I picked it up and tossed it and slaughtered it. Oh, shit. Damn, aerial stab. Dead. That's how it's done. Herpes pinion. Where did it go? There it is. Stab. Nice. Elric gets level three. 
Dare I say it? We trounced our foe, well and true. <laughs> what a nice boast. Is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. All right, we saved the dude. Where is he? Where is he? Where did he go? What? Oh. Is that all of them? <laughs> yeah. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved mm. me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. Correct. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. I guess there's no way to target. I can't figure out how to target an enemy what right now. Make our report? report back. Now, we're not done out here. We got another quest to do, right? Let's do the other quest while we're out here. This one. Provisioner's Plight. That one's right over here. Okay. Take a look. Wait, what? Oh, that one is before the town. Oh, we have to go back. Okay. By the way, look. The guy who I threw? <laughs> Might be the guy I threw off the cliff. Um, <clears throat> alright. Well, I guess we've got to go back to town then to treat it in, right? Here. Might as well trade this in first since the other one's on the other side of town. Okay. Well... First hour impressions, okay? Combat very reminiscent of the first game, which is a good thing. I actually liked the combat of the first game. Um, I like the fact that immediately you could just kind of mess around. I threw the guy right off that cliff, which is hilarious. Um, and I would say I like the pawns, how they kind of talk and they feel real. But the graphics, obviously the frame rate's the issue, right? Everyone's going to be complaining about the frame rate the entire game. There's not much can be done about that. But outside of the frame rate, so far so good. That was a good first hour. If you guys enjoyed that, let me know. Please leave a comment on the video. Please like the video if you're enjoying the playthrough so far. And I will see you all in part two.